this in the first place? And we want to answer that question. But before we do, I want to show you what um, Franklin didn't do this. Another guy did this. And before Franklin, there was a guy named Gilbert. Gilbert was a doctor in the times of bloodletting. And he thought when this electricity came out that, you know, maybe he could use this to help his patients. And um, he did a lot of the research. I can't think of his name. Oh, Gilbert. He was Gilbert. He did a lot of the research that Franklin then built off of. But then this other guy decided to do this experiment. It's called the Flying Boy Experiment. And I can't do it with static charge, but it's so much fun to do with static charge. We're going to have to use something else. Now, the reason I do this, you could obviously have somebody stand on some kind of plastic something, but this is how they did it. And they would have a little boy lay on his stomach and his feet were off the end and his hand on the other end. And they would have like puffed rice, some kind of puffed grain. Mm -hmm. And they would charge up his feet with that static rod that I'm showing you. You can use PVC pipe and fur. Mm -hmm. And they'd rub it on his feet. And then they'd hold the bowl of puffed grain. And he'd put his fingers there and popped up, uh -huh. came towards him. So it's really cool. And I do that with the kids. But because it's so staticky, I can't. So instead, two boys. The, the point of that was to show that the human body was a conductor, right? That's an important thing when dealing with electricity. You need to understand conductors and insulators. And so we're going to do this. Maritza. Suspend him like that so he's not grounded? Is that so he's not grounded, right. 